Hey, what's up guys? It's Good Thallion, and today I'm gonna redo my hard drive. I've been having a few requests from people in the Destiny community that wanted to know if the load times were any different with an SSD versus the HDD that's inside the PS4, and even though it does have a SATA 2 controller, um, I thought I would go ahead and pick one up and do the old good science for you guys. I know there's plenty of videos on the internet on this whole process, but I would show you how I did it. Now, first off, I realized I didn't have a screwdriver, so we're gonna fucking fast forward ahead. So this process is relatively painless. Uh, you just want to take off the first little screw that is covering up um, the uh, attachment that lets you pull out the hard drive, and it actually slides out super easy. This process is actually quite a bit of a pain in the ass on the Xbox One, but it is doable, but you have to take the whole system apart. Uh, the next thing up is there will be four screws that are attaching the previous hard drive to the metal housing. So you want to take those four screws out and they all come out pretty easy. After that, you want to put in your new hard drive uh, the same way that the old hard drive was in. Pay attention to the way that the casing the casing was facing and um, then uh, re-screw in the other screws. Don't do them too snug. They don't need to be absolutely tight. And then you're gonna slide it back inside of the PS4. Easy, bing, bang, boom. Then you put the last screw back in place and that holds the hard drive back where it was. All right, so that's actually the easy part. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is you actually have to have a piece of software that I'm actually gonna link you to in uh, the section below, the description section below the video. And you will go there and you will actually download a file and you need a USB stick. So basically you get this file from the link. It's uh, playstation.com slash en dash us, whatever. It's in the description. Um, you put that in to the PS4 uh, um, inside a USB slot. You also are gonna wanna have your PS4 controller um, attached to uh, the PS4 with a USB drive as well. And then you're gonna wanna hold down the power button on the PS4 for seven seconds until it beeps twice, and then you're gonna get a screen that looks like the one we're on right now. So the reinitialization process is uh, pretty painless. It shouldn't take too long considering that you're writing to an SSD. And once you finish this, it will boot you up as if you're doing a fresh uh, boot up on the PS4 itself. And then you have to re-enter your, um, your user ID, get your account re-established. Re if you have Destiny characters already, it will not erase the characters. Your, your characters will be fine. You don't need to worry about that. So, I'm gonna go into detail on load time differences between zones, loading up the game in general. I'm gonna be playing with a downloaded version of the game versus a disc-based version of the game installed on a standard HDD on my second PS4. If there's anything specifically you guys want me to check out, I will do that for you. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back inside of Destiny.